I hope you're feeling creative because today we are gonna turn this empty aluminum can into a coaster. With an X-Acto knife, create a slit in the back of your can. Use this as an entry point for your first cut. Please keep in mind that the aluminum will be very sharp, so please be careful while cutting and handling the metal during this project. I would also recommend using shears that are made for cutting thin aluminum stock. If not, you might dull your ordinary blades. Once you have your desired piece of aluminum, take your scissors and trim the edges. This will smooth everything out and give you a less sharp material to work with. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, we got white claws in the tub. Let's wash these guys off with warm soap and water. Make sure to rinse and dry them thoroughly before moving on to the next step. Place your wooden coaster base over the desired section of aluminum. Trace it with a dry erase marker and use your scissors to roughly cut out the shape. For this project, I'll be using Starbond's medium adhesive and accelerator to adhere the aluminum onto the wooden coaster base. Once you have it placed, make sure to smush that thing down as good as you can. Use your scissors to cut off the excess aluminum. Try to get as close as possible to the coaster base. All right, this is starting to finally take shape. We got something that kind of looks like a coaster. To smooth down the edges, I used an 120 grit sponge sander to keep my fingers nice and safe from the metal. Next, let's cover the back with some frog tape. Use an X-Acto knife to cut off all the excess tape. Adding a coat of black acrylic paint to the edges of these coasters will bring the whole piece together. We're in the home stretch. Let's make these guys shine with some Moss Epoxy Tabletop Epoxy Resin. Once the resin is cured, you can remove the tape off the back of the coaster. You can even add a little bit more black paint to the back just to give it a little something extra. Last but not least, let's adhere the cork backing onto the back of the coaster. I used the same adhesive that I used earlier on in the video. You now have your very own White Claw coaster set. Now, I know you're gonna wanna use these right away, but I suggest try waiting a week just to make sure your epoxy is completely cured. Thank you so much for joining me on this project. Stay creative and happy crafting.